Carolina Panthers, yes, I'm back. 2022 roster grades. Let's get right into it. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> Please like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Today we got the Carolina Panthers roster grades. Of course, uh, we'll get the news quick. Uh, this uh, basically Jalen Ferguson did something really dumb, and yeah, he died. And then uh, uh, yeah, people are getting a little ridiculous with um, Jimmy Garoppolo being traded, and yet yeah, there's a lot of people um, thinking about uh, who we should draft. Uh, I'm Ross St. Brown's my first guy on the Lions list. Let's get right into the video though. And starting out with quarterback, Sam Darnold's their starter, presumably. Uh, he was awful. Like, he's the worst starting quarterback in the league. He went 4-7 and seven in 12 games. 9 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 59, almost 60% completion, but under that. He uh, got sacked 35 times, only 6.2 yards per attempt, which isn't the worst. He had uh, 406 attempts, 243 completions. He had 40 carries, 222 yards, 5 touchdowns, so he does have some mobility there. And total yards, 2,749 is not great. Total touchdowns, 14. 55.2 PFF grade, which is terrible. Sam Darnold's a bad quarterback. Like, we already know he's a bust. Matt Corral, yeah, he's not ready. I, I, I like Matt Corral as a quarterback. He, you can't have him be an RPO quarterback. He needs to develop his skills. We just don't know much about him at all. I do like his, what we've seen from him and his physical traits are good. We just haven't been able to see him play because he's been just an RPO quarterback limited. P.J. Walker, P.J. Walker's a backup quarterback. I don't think he's a bad backup quarterback. He started one game. He threw 362 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions in the four games he played. He's not very accurate, but he can run with the football, which is big. So, P.J. Walker's not a bad quarterback. They don't have a starter, though. That's just the truth. It's kind of bad. Okay, um, zero. Nothing more I have to say. They get a zero. Uh, it's bad. It's an F. They have uh, the worst quarterback room in the league. There's no upside at all there. Like, it's the worst in the league. Presumably, they're going to get Baker Mayfield, but if they don't get him, they're, they, they have an F quarterback room. There's nothing much more to say. Now, let's get to the running back room. I mean, let's pretend Christian McCaffrey doesn't get hurt. He will get hurt because Christian McCaffrey is a top three running back when he's on the field. Like, that's not even, like, an argument. He's really, really good. Yeah, he only scored two touchdowns in seven games last year. But you got to remember, he had 785 yards in seven games. That was on track for 800, uh, 1,800 yards, 4.5 yards per carry, which was even better than last year. He had 136 touches in those games, too, so they gave him the ball a lot. He was on track, honestly, of, like, yeah, he had a lot of touches in his play, though. Yeah, he only had 18 yards for a long, but we got to remember this Carolina uh, offensive line isn't anything special. It's not good. It's not the worst, though. And even behind him, like, Chuba Hubbard, yeah, he's not the greatest in the world, and yeah, he had an 8.7 PFF, too. Uh, yeah, True Bobbert is a power back. He's not very efficient, but he can get in the end zone, which is huge. And he's not the worst receiving back. He definitely needs to work on his receiving skills but and his efficiency. But other than that, he's actually good. And I think the most underrated signing was Dante Foreman. Dante, um, Dante Foreman is just a machine. He just gets yards, chews it up. Huge. And even Spencer Brown. Spencer Brown's decent, too, out of UAB in his first season. I really do like this running back room, really. It's really good. Okay, running back room, A+. Plus. Uh, yeah, the, even if Christian McCaffrey gets hurt, they have depth, which is huge. 20 out of 20 for me. It's Yeah, but if Christian McCaffrey stays healthy, they will have one of the best running games in the NFL, and their offense won't be awful. They don't have a quarterback. We get that. But they have a running game, which is huge. But you got to remember, Christian McCaffrey gets hurt a ton. That's why he's not a top three running back. When he's on the field, he's a top three running back. That's just how it is. Best receiving back in the NFL. He could be a slot receiver in the NFL as well. Probably will be a, um, toward the end of his career. But CMZ, when he's healthy, is the top three running back, like I said. And their depth is good as well. That's why they get an A-plus there. Not forget the injuries because Christian McCaffrey is healthy now. And when I do the tier ranking, he won't be uh, an A-plus running back because he gets hurt. But this is projections, and we know... When he's on the field, he's a great running back. Now let's get the wide receivers. Okay, at the wide receiver position. Um, let me put it this way. DJ Moore is a top 20 receiver, probably even top 15. 
Doesn't score a lot of touchdowns, but is super productive and makes a lot of big plays, which is huge. He is a yard for catch guy to um guy too. His uh, catch percentage wasn't great because of his freaking quarterback, but other than that, he was good. He drops some balls as well. He isn't <laughs> super um what is it called uh. His hands are on a elite. Uh, same thing with Robbie Anderson as well, who's also a good second receiver. I like Robbie Anderson. Uh, I think people just don't like him because he's not great, very consistent. Yeah, you're right about it, but he's a big play waiting to happen every time. He didn't have a great season at all, but he only – and he has a similar drop rate to uh, DJ Moore. You had 110 catches, um, I targets, 53 catch catches. I counted 41 of the targets he had that were incomplete were cut on the quarterback. That's just how it is. He needs a decent quarterback as well, but when you get him the ball, he will get open. They have two very explosive receivers, like I said. Terrence Marshall Jr., yeah, he got hurt. He wasn't great, really, the whole season. He had a foot injury for four games. He really did struggle a lot, but we did show him signs good in the preseason. He had, wasn't great, but I do think he's developing fine. Rashard Higgins, he's a good fourth receiver, good depth. Burn Zilstra is decent. Uh, Shai Smith is meh. He's not great. When he made some plays, though, and he definitely can get open really well. Uh, he is yeah, he has really good yak as well. He can uh, run after catch. Uh, Andre Roberts is a good returner as well. He can actually get open as well, but I do like this receiving court. Okay. Honestly, I'll give him a B. They have a number one receiver. They have a number two receiver. I do like their depth as well, but Robbie Anderson, I like Robbie Anderson a lot, but I got to I gotta admit, when he was out there, he wasn't very productive as well. So I gotta keep that reasonable as well. You know, I'll give him a B plus. I think that's fair. Cause they do have a good receiving goal. Like it's it's pretty darn good. So B plus, good depth, all that. That's um four plus um three times to twelve. Sixteen out of twenty. I think that's fair. Uh now let's get to the tight ends. Okay, a tight end. Oh gosh. Tommy Trumbull, he was productive when he was out there, I'll be honest with you. He's more of a blocking tight end anyway. His hands aren't anything special. He does, he has shown signs of being a good um, receiving tight end. Ian Thomas is bad. He doesn't do anything. That's just the truth about Ian Thomas. He just doesn't do anything. Like, he doesn't make any catches. He doesn't really make any plays at all. They don't really have any depth either here. I like Tommy Trumbull. Like, I think he'll be oh, good. But, like... You can't have Ian Thomas as a backup tight end. He hasn't done anything in his career. He's yet to show me that he's been starting caliber because he's actually had to start. The Panthers have just had a terrible, I'll be honest, a terrible tight end room in a, like since Greg Olson left. With that, For that reason, their tight end room is pretty darn bad. Okay, tight ends. I'll give him a D. Uh, it's not an a, it's not D minus. D minus is almost as bad as F. They have one of the worst tight end rooms in the NFL. But like I said, Tommy Trumbull can start. He's probably the worst starting tight end in the NFL. But he's not like the worst of the worst. So I'll give him a D for that. But it's it's pretty bad. D that was that would be one one plus four is five out of fifteen, right? Yeah. Wait. No, that's a. Uh, 4.67 out of 15. And then, uh, 4.33, uh, 4 yeah, that would be the worst. And that would be zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now let's get to the offensive line. Okay, O-line. I like the Panthers' O-line in a sense that they're they're going to be good players. Ikebu Kwan is a beast. His pass blocking needs a little bit of work, but other than that, he's fine. Cameron Irving stinks. Like, he's bad backup. You don't want him as a Like, my bad. He's not the worst backup in the world, but he cannot start. Can, um, he was bad, I'll put it like that. He was not good. He had a 56 VFF grade, which isn't actually the worst. Pat Elfline is not good. Um, we've seen a lot of him. Actually, at the end of 2020, uh, 2020 he was actually pretty good. Uh, Cade Mays, we haven't really seen anything of. He's a rookie. At a wordy play. Oh, yeah. Uh, six round pick out of Tennessee. He should be decent. I know he's a good run blocker, which is big because they need that. Bradley Bozeman, I don't really know why they signed him a lot, but he's on the team. And he gets the jo job done uh, with Baltimore, 73.3 PFF grade. He only had one uh, penalty. He did get up three sacks, though. He's not the greatest pass blocker. Uh, overall, he's a decent center. Sam Teckelberg, uh, in 15 games at center, 62.5 PFF grade as a backup. Uh, only played 131 snaps, but he's not the worst backup either. 
Uh, Austin Corbett from the Rams with uh, 68.8 PF upgrade. He was solid. I don't really need to say much else about him. DeAndre Brown, backup. Uh, he just didn't play much, and when he was out there, he wasn't very good. So he's not the greatest backup. Taylor uh, Moten. Uh, Taylor Moen, I like Taylor Moen actually a lot. Uh, probably the best off, he, yeah, he's the best offensive lineman on this team. Until, uh, what is it called, uh, Ikemu Kwanu really gets into it. And then Austin Pleasants, we don't know anything about, which is a little bit of an uncertainty. But other than that, this is a decent offensive line. Okay, I'll give him a C+. Plus. Uh, I think it's actually a decent offensive line. Oh, like I said, their backups are, the depth is definitely not one of the worst in the NFL. They have good depth. Other than that, though... There's not much to, like, think about as whoa, but they do have two good tackles. Their inside is not is kind of weak, but pad up is the only hole, and there's not, the de like I said, the depth is fine. Like, there's nothing bad about the depth, so that's really big. And most teams don't have good offensive line depth, which is a problem, but Carolina Panthers have some good offensive line depth. So if it goes to a C+, plus, that's like 7, right? Or 8 out of 15, because it would be 4 plus, no, 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 yeah, 4 plus... Three. It'll be seven. No, it'll be six. Nine out of uh, fifteen. That makes sense. Okay, that's your offensive line. Now let's get the offensive have average. So the grade comes out to a C, my a C actually, but I'm not gonna give him a D. You know, I'll give him a D plus. But I don't think their offense is, is so bad that it's a D. But I think a D plus is fair. They're, they're pretty bad. You have an F quarterback. It's really hard to have a good offense, like at all. But 51, I think that's fair. That's like the D range. We'll actually get the ranges out. Yeah, range for roster grades. Either way, yeah, 51 is. Uh, it's actually an F, but I don't think they're F. I'll give them a D plus. That's just like I said, I can overrule it. Technically, they are an F offense, but I don't think they're that bad. I think D uh, D plus is fair for them. Just with the fact they do have good skill position players. And they weren't an F offense last year. They weren't that bad. Uh, they were bad, but they weren't an F offense. They were like a D. I think they'll be a little better this year, but they're not a great offense, honestly. Now let's get to the defense. What's going on, guys? Okay, now I get to the linebackers. Um, So, of course, Shaq uh, Thompson, he's always been a solid linebacker. Uh, he's up. To, he's getting up there in age. He's been in the NFL for a while. Uh, he's a solid linebacker. Damian Wilson, why do I think he played for, who the heck did he play for last year? Why do I keep forgetting who he played for last year? Oh, wait, didn't he play for Dallas? Whatever, I forget about Damian Wilson, I'll be honest with you on that. Uh, I do remember him getting uh, in trouble, like big trouble, but other than that, uh, I've watched him film of him, he's pretty athletic, he's got very good length for covering the middle of the skill. The one lacking thing about him, though, is the fact that he does really struggle playing in, in structure, which is really a problem when you're talking about a middle linebacker. But he's got some good athleticism. He's fine. Corey Littleton, ever since he le he's left the Rams, he's been below par. Um, but other than that, he's still a decent linebacker. Like, there's nothing meh. Like, he's just meh. Uh, and then you have uh, Kamal T Martin, uh, what, what, um, fifth-round pick. Uh, he's been around the league. Uh, back up, not much to say about him, uh, Isaiah Graham Mobley, why do I think he was a pick? He's a rookie, yeah, um, UDFA, oh, he's out of BC, I remember this guy, he had a pick six off of, who the heck was it? It was the guy, the quarterback for, um, Miami, whatever, he had a really nice play, that's really the only thing I remember about him, so, he's pretty good, oh yeah, Brandon Smith, uh, this dude has a lot of potential, if you want to know one thing about him, he's the most, probably the most athletic linebacker ever coming out of college, in terms of um, RS, which is relative athletic score. So, being honest here, uh, Brandon Smith uh, has a ton of potential, but they don't have a lot of, like, good guys right now. And, like, Frankie uh, um, Luvu is a good special teamer. I do think he's really good at tackling, which is a big thing when you talk about these guys. But, like, Brandon Smith, Brandon Smith's going to be a starter someday. I think he's so much potential. But overall, um, this is a um, decent linebacking core. So I'm going to give him a grade, I'll give him a C plus. I think it's just about average, it's a little bit above. Like I said, all those guys are uh, viable starters. Damian Wilson is athletic, and of course you have Brandon Smith. Their depth is lacking as well, but overall their depth isn't the worst in the world. C plus, that's 9, 9 plus. 3 is 12 out of 20, so just about average. Now let's get to the defensive line. 
So let's pretend there's no pass rush. Um, interior this um defensive line and the depth is honestly really good. Ryan Burns, yes, he's been a little inconsistent in his career, but he has so much talent, and at his highest, he's one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. You sure girls Matos? Yeah, a little bit of a disappointment. He only had three and a half sacks. He does struggle a little bit to get to the quarterback, but overall, I don't think he's the worst guy in the world. Derek Brown, he's been everything you want him to be over the um, um since he was drafted. A uh, little bit of a disappointment, but uh, he has feel a little bit to make this step. But overall, I don't think Derek Brown's the worst guy in the world. And just to verify it. It's not great, like I said right here, but he does make some plays and he has some classes. But definitely, he's got to be the good this year. Uh, Matt Ionite, solid starter, like B+. Plus. He's pretty darn good. Davion Nixon, Bravion Roy, two decent backups. They've been viable their whole career, nothing else to say. Jacob Tudy Mariner, he has a lot of athleticism. He does show a lot of flashes, but he struggles to stay on the field. And most of all, uh, he's pretty inconsistent with finesse moves. Marcos Haynes Jr., he's definitely got to be the... Um, Three tech or even six tech, if you want to be honest here, because he is very good at getting off the line quick. And even bigger, like he is, he was, he is a pretty good vet. But even bigger, he has a big power rush, especially in the run game that drives guys back, which is huge off the edge when you need to set it. So I do like this defensive line. Yeah, this defensive line, I give him a B. Like they're not, they have a lot of potential. They were not that great last year, to be honest. There's another reason they were really good. They were good, a good defense, in my opinion. But overall, I think their defensive line is de pretty good. Yeah, I think B's fair. So, overall, that's B. That's 8, 8 plus, 3.67 is 11.67 out of 15, which is very um, fair for that. Now, let's use the pass rush. Okay, the Panthers pass rush. I said Brian Burns, like, he had nine sacks. He has not, he's been yet to show that he's a superstar, but like I said, he's a very good player. Like, very, very good. Yuzuri Gross Matos, not very consistent, but then Mark Will, Marcos Hayes and Jacob Tawudi, uh, Mariner are both very good. The rest of these guys stink, but like I said, I really do like this pass rush. It has a lot of potential, and even in the middle, the middle, they drive so much. Derek Brown and Matt Ionides are so strong. They do a great job, and both of those guys are, they're, they're more pass rushers than they are better in the, than they are in the run game. Like, Matt Ioannidis just sees more of a inside uh, threat in the run game, but he can get to the quarterback as well, which is huge. They have very good versatility. Brian Burns is their number one pass rusher, and he's definitely a number one pass rusher. Of course, I like, I like to see more consistency, especially on those uh, bull rush moves, but other than that, he's good. Now right, let's get to the other break. Okay, their pass rush, I'll give that a B plus. Um, I like their pass rush a lot. Like... They're, they're never going to be a team that's going to have trouble getting to the quarterback, which is huge. And not only that, but they have a couple guys that can really do it, so that's big. You know, I'll bounce back down to a bit because it's more potential, I'll be honest with you, that's more projecting. But, yeah, I think it'll be for them. They definitely don't have a bad pass rush. And uh, for sure, uh, Brian Burns is going to get some help. Yeah, they did lose to Son Reddick, but I do like the fact that your search Gross Matos will get better. Right? And they got Matt Ioannidis. The help on the inside was just huge as well, along with good depth there as well. But if Brian Burns can make the step to be a top five pass rusher, which honestly could happen, be one of the best edge rushers in the NFL, that could definitely happen. If he's able to do that, they're gonna they're gonna have a A tier uh, pressure rate. So that's what is that? B. That's 3.67, 3.67 plus 12 is 15.67 at, uh, 25, which is nothing to scaffold at at all. Now let's get the cornerbacks. Okay, my bad, I messed up a little bit there, but other than that, they're pretty good, uh, at the pass rush. But now let's get to the secondary, Dante Jackson. He's been good, like, he's the, probably one of the, he's probably the fastest corner in the NFL. He's just good, he's very good in zone, not the best press guy, but other than that, he's fine. J.C. Horn, he got hurt, but he was good when he was playing for the little action we saw. C.J. Anderson, good slot guy. Um, he's shown a lot of promise. Um, very weird trade by the Jaguars, but other than that, he's fine. Rashad Melvin, uh... I think his PMF grade just tells you something. Like, Rashad Melvin's not good. Like, if this can load, which we'll wait for, but he's not great. And then you have, um... Miles Hartfield, he's nice. Keith Taylor Jr., he's nice as well. Chris Westry, I do like a little bit, but these aren't actually the worst numbers for a corner, to be honest, but they're not very good. And I'll, like, Keith Taylor Jr. is just nice. That's all I have to really say. He was not good last year at all, but when he did get targets, he wasn't the worst, which were pretty often, honestly, when he was out there. But overall, not the worst cornerback room. It's decent. It's very young, too. 
Quarterback room, I'll give like a B minus. Like they don't like I do like the guys they have, but it's not like they they're that great at like right now. They could they have three guys that are gonna be very good. One that is a number one corner in Dante Jackson, but they do have good depth as well. I do like their cornerback room. You know, I'll give them a B plus. No, I'll give them a B. Uh, I like their depth. They have good corners, but the one thing I don't like is the fact that some of those guys are not very consistent with their ball skills, which is a huge problem sometimes. But other than that, man zone, press, whatever you want to say, they're very good technically sounded, all of them, which are huge. And also that, I do like the play a zone defense, which is big, considering the fact that they have a lot of fast guys, which you really do need in zone coverage. But other than that, they're pretty good. So that's B, that's... Three, that's 3.67 plus 12, which is 15.67 out of 20, which I think is really good. Now it's to safe. Okay, humor me on this one. Jeremy Chin. Jeremy Chin's okay. He's not great in coverage. He did progress a little bit, though. Gotta be honest there. Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a decent free safety. Justin Burroughs and Kenny Robinson are not great. Like, wasn't Kenny Robinson like a third round pick or something? No, he was a third round pick a while ago. Yeah. Uh, they can't have a special teamer here. Uh, Sean Chandler, uh, Sam Franklin Jr. are not great. Uh, but, honestly, it's not the worst court safety room there. But Justin Burroughs was starting was not good. They did not have good safeties last year. But, I think Ju Jeremy Chin will make a big step up. He's more of a box safety on and, anyway. Xavier Woods is good over the top. He's got good speed. Not the greatest length, though, covering the, uh, field. But he does have, he's very good technically sound. And, un and he does not play sloppy. He plays conservative, which I do like when you're free safety. Unless you're a superstar, which there's not many of, he does his job, which is huge. Now let's get to the grade. And B minus. Like the the depth is terrible, but I gotta admit the safeties are pretty good. Like Jeremy Chin for a box safety is very good. He's a, a C. He's above average, but you need a strong safety to come back sometimes. Not only that, though, Xavier Woods is good over the top. He's very conservative. He does his job right, which is big. And not only that, he, sa he saves a lot of touchdowns as well, which is big. That's why I give him a B minus. You know, I'll give it actually C plus. Uh, just the fact that they weren't good last year, and we don't know if they will be. But they definitely have so starting caliber safeties. The depth isn't good either, but the fact that they do have starting caliber safeties is huge. If one of them gets hurt. Kenny Robinson can jump in. Justin Burns obviously is not good, but I guarantee they'll have they'll have that problem fixed anyway. But more importantly, teams aren't going to test them deep when they have those type of corners out there that are speed. All three of those guys are very fast, which is huge. And remember, J.C. Horn has the potential to be a one top three corner in the NFL. Not only that, but just uh, Dante Jackson, yes, he is not the best corner, not great tackler, but they're good there. Overall, I like the secondary. It's very young. It's got a lot of potential. C+, plus, that's 3, 3+, plus, 9 is 12 out of 20. Decent. Now let's get to the overall average. So the average comes out to a B-, minus, which I do think is fair. I gotta give him a C+, plus, though, overall, because there's a lot of young guys out there. They're not that experienced. In 71, that would be a C-. minus. So I'm balancing out a little. Probably should be a C, but I do think they're an average defense. And if anything, they're a little bit above average. Like I said, they have potential. They've really worked on their defense, which is huge. Because in 2019, it was one of the worst defenses in the NFL. But overall, I do like this Panthers defense. Like, it's good. It's not great. But for sure, they can definitely work on some stuff. But overall, I think a C-plus is fair for them. Now let's get to the special teams, and then we'll get to the depth and overall grade. Okay, for the special teams, uh, Zane Gonzalez is not a good kicker. He has not a big foot, and he does miss some kicks. We One of the probably bottom five kickers in the league. Johnny Hecker, he's an overrated punter, but I still think he's top 10. He does his job. His, um, he has not been as good as he used to be, but I still think he's a good punter. Shai Smith's the batter turner. G uh, Andre Roberts is one of the best in the NFL. JJ uh, Jansen won't be a long snapper for long because Thomas Fletcher, generational long snapper, will come in. Yeah, uh, DJ Moore actually is a good punter turner as well, but it's an eh, most bleh, special teams run. I think it's just about average, to be honest with you, the special teams. C-plus is fair for me right there. Just with the fact that they don't have a good kicker. Um, their punter turner is okay. Uh, their punter's good. Their kicker turner is good, and they have decent long snappers. But as a unit, they're not the best. They're not the worst. They're just about average. C-plus, that's 1. That's 3. That's 6 out of 10. That's literally average. Now let's get to the depth. Okay, for this team's depth, quarterback depth. Honestly, it's like a C. I'll be honest with you. Their depth is not bad. Running back, A plus depth. Wide receiver, like B. Uh, tight end, F. Uh, offensive line, like C. Uh, overall, the offense, I'd give it like a B minus for depth. Linebacking core depth is like a D. Uh, defensive line depth is like a B plus. Pass rush depth is like a C plus, I'd say. 
Cornerback depth is like an A. Safety depth is like a D. Defensive depth overall, since it's pretty erratic, I'd have to give it like a C plus. So overall, this defensive, I'll give it a B minus, honestly. Their depth is not the worst. They have some really good young players. Not only that, though, positions where they don't have good depth, it's not, like, horrendous. Like, those guys can go out there and start and actually do something. Not every position, but most of them, which is pretty important. So B minus comes out to, uh, what is it called? Uh, was it 19 point? So it's 19.33 out of 25, which is pretty fair. Now let's get the overall grade. Okay, um, D plus, that's their grade. Uh, kind of like their offense, but that actually comes out to that as it should. 147 out of, what is it called, uh, 235. Uh, honestly, I'll give their, C, their roster a C minus. I'll overrule that a little. Uh, the roster isn't terrible. The roster isn't good by any means, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's bad, but it's not, it's not as bad as the Bears roster. Which is a bottom five roster. I think the ba the Panthers have a little bit of better roster. It won't come out of the rest of the divisions though, because I don't think their culture is anything special, and I definitely don't think they have a good coach. Probably the worst in the NFL. So for that reason, they get a C minus 147 out of 235. It comes out as a D plus, but their roster is not a D plus. They're not that bad of a uh, um, roster, but because they have talent, which is huge. But the injury history and all that does not go good for the Panthers. I'll just be honest with you. The Panthers are going to be bad this year. But the good news is um, they're going to start three and all or like five. And they're going to be like decent at the halfway point. Like, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're going to be five and three. Then they're going to lose all the rest of the game because that's what they do. So, yeah, Panthers, you're going to win some. Just be prepared. You're going to win some games to start the season and you're sync it up. That's how the record That's how the record goes anyway. But in like re like being in all seriousness, they have a decent roster. I don't think the roster is that bad, to be honest. Uh, Points-wise, it's because your quarterback's, like, literally the worst in the NFL. And, um, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and you don't have a good tight end either. Either way, guys, like subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next one. Down in a long one. Jacobs back in the game. The rookie for the touchdown.